Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys we have a very interesting build for you. I wanted to play the Gargoyle again and with the desync of the weapon groups from the micro lasers, from everything else, they have their own ghost seed weapon group now, we can do something pretty fun and uh, I'm gonna show you what. Now the Gargoyle is a very fast uh, salt mech, it is having the 400 rated engine which is the biggest one in the game but it also it's the one that takes the most weight which means we have a quite high weight limitation or in other words we have quite low weight to work with. In order to get something done with the build anyway we're gonna use very weight efficient weapons then which are laser weapons and we take six ear medium lasers and ten ear micro lasers together and the fun thing about this is that you can shoot all of them at the same time. So again the, uh, the disconnect, the desync from the, from the ghost heat weapon groups from the ear micro lasers is glorious. We have 63 damage alpha strike. Of course we need to get close but the gargoyle can actually do that. Now I would consider this build a challenge build. It is quite tough to play and um, I wouldn't say it is uh, like a meta defining very very good build but it's fun guys you will see that in the games. We have a good amount of heat management with the double heat sync and the targeting computer mark 1 for targeting time and beam range and a bit of crit chance and uh, that's basically the build. Um, yeah, this thing is running 87 kph. I might have forgotten to say that. It's an assault mech that runs quite, quite fast. Now, the skill build for the whole thing is the following. Invested into the firepower tree, of course, because I wanted all the laser duration nodes on top of heat gen, heat gen, heat gen, because I want to fire often and I want to fire fast. Therefore, this. I also invested into um, half of the survivability tree, not full, sadly, because I didn't have enough slots. I wanted the speed tweak down here but apart from it guys we are in a knife fighter we have to get super close 100 and i think 70 meters is the ear micro laser range and um yeah we, we really want to be on the front line and therefore those two are quite necessary we're gonna take some beating in the games and uh, at the same rate getting uh, closer to the enemy quicker is uh, is good with speed week we have no operation skilled uh, we are completely relying on our um, double heat sinks but we have rated deprivation and then one value point in the consumable slot so again the idea is to soften the enemies up early with the medium lasers and then later on go in and shoot all the micros in the world that's the build everybody i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and if you have that then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield all right first game of the day we are playing skirmish on the frozen city so guys when we do this we have our 63 alpha strike and uh, we actually have a good amount of heat dissipation so we can technically do something like this we're gonna alpha in then our uh, micro lasers are gonna go on cooldown again and then we wait a little bit longer until we are here again and then we can do another alpha strike to get to full. So this is the plan here and um, I don't know, I think I will uh, try to initiate and then see how it goes. I mean this is all in a, in a vacuum, right? If you have enemies shooting at you then uh, sometimes you need to toss a twist and you cannot just stare them down like that and um, need, to something else. I need to do something else, you need to change the plan with that. Um, can I shoot this? Okay, I can. 700 meters now. There is a UAV in Echo 7, guys. UAV Echo 7, you are spotted. Can you tell? Yeah, he's not with the small lasers, man. I just wanted to uh, tell the piranha that he should get out there. Very, very important. Thank you for killing the UAV. That's very good. And, um, I mean, what we do in the early game is something like... Uh, and we get into a good situation. I want to show you this here. Yeah, so some mid-range mid -range shooting. Ah, uh, dude, I want to back up. Sorry, 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 sorry. I can just harass the Jenner a little bit. Is it a Jenner? No, it's a Javelin. I mean, it's not, not that I would deal optimal damage there, but I deal a little bit. And at the moment, I have no other target anyway, so might as well do it. Okay. Are we going in already? Is this a push into Echo 6? Uh, 7? Echo 7 push? Yeah, let's get the Marauder, guys. Let's go. And we... I mean, we are not in optimal range yet, so I'm not using my micro lasers, saving some heat. The Marauder's still here. No, he's not. I'm gonna pop the UAV just to see where they are, where they are coming from, where they are going to. And I think with the Wolvie here. Ah, that was good. I mean, the Bushwhacker, of course, spread the damage because that's what Bushwhackers do. But, eh, we destroyed the side of him. That's pretty good. Uh, pushing forward now, Echo 7. On the Marauder, kill him. Get that side torso off. Okay, uh, that was too much. That was too early. Oh, a dire wolf. Hi. How are you? I gotta go. I got to go. Okay. The dire wolf is almost caught. Let's kill him together, guys. Dire, dire, dire. Wolf, wolf, wolf. 
Okay. Bushy not quite dead. Not quite. And the Stormcrow on the side needs to go as well. Got him. Cool. That's the Jäger mech. We're gonna shoot him with the medium lasers only because obviously our micro lasers are out of range. So we soften him up a bit before we go in. And with another Alpha Strike he should probably be dead. I mean Alpha is not possible yet so we keep shooting the mediums. Uh, I think this is what we do mostly here. Yeah. I don't care about the guy in my back. Not really. Not much. Ah, uh, I should not. Okay. The fox. Ah, good damage. The Jägermech is gonna die to, uh, to somebody else, so it's not a big deal. Ah, crap. He was in front of me. That was my fox. So, micro lasers only in the brawl, because they are more heat efficient. And, of course, they have a lower cooldown. Give me that. Kid fox. Let's go for it. Go for the big lasers. Okay. He's down. I'm gonna go over my heat threshold a little bit again. I mean, you can also chain fire, that's possible. Uh huh, this is where I want to be. This is my sweet spot. Let's keep going. How are you? Oh, you're kind of fresh, so it seems. Seven and six. Ah, this guy needs to go. Come on. Ah, not enough. Warhammer is one shot. Uh huh. Come over here, Locust. Come over here, Piranha. And another override. Shouldn't have done that. I regret my decision. But it's nine and something. Get the Jenna off the field, man. No, leave me alone. Can you go away, man? Dude. I mean, I have a lot of structure, obviously. Yeah, Piranha. Okay, so the Piranha and then the Awesome. Try to get the kill here, obviously. Okay, let's go for it. Try to not overheat. Actually, let's take him. Let's just take him. <laughs> we survived this for some reason. I have no idea why. But we came out of this alive. Alrighty. Yeah, I was riding the heat scale quite a lot there. But it all paid off in the end. We got three killing blows, nine assists, one kill most damage dealt with 722 damage done and 12 components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. It was a hell of a messy fight. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Canyon Network. And we're gonna shoot this guy to attract his fire. Oh, no, 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 no. We, do, we don't. We shouldn't have done that. I should have just let him pass. The damage that I dealt there was so minimal that it wasn't, uh, wasn't justified going for it. I mean, at least we only took very, very minimal return fire. That was not so bad. I want to push the Madcat. Push the Madcat! Oh, he's running some Ultra 10s. I just need to wait for my Alpha Strike to be ready again. And we take out his side torso. So the Madcat is very crit on the left side, guys. Kill the Madcat, please, Charlie. Uh, this guy as well. Yeah. Open the fire starter up. And we got a serious amount of leg damage to the guy. So we have some very nice early advantage here. That was pretty good. We have a kill on a Madcat Mark II. That's huge. Um, can I go in there? Uh, the enemies are not quite there yet to shoot me in the back, so we try to get the kill here quickly. Um, center torso. Dire wolf center. Center on the dire. Or we go... Uh-huh. Dudes, 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 dudes. <laughs> Always too late. <laughs> Always too late. Okay. But it's okay. We dealt, our, we dealt our damage. We did our job. We have three kills already. This looks very, very good. Ah, there was a guy. I didn't expect the guy still being in the trance. I was uh, watching this side in order to uh, shoot somebody when they pop over. Uh, they have an assault mech in the trench right side, Charlie 4. Let's kill it together. Can we do it? Uh, we destroyed an arm. An arm, arm on an awesome is not valuable. He's also running a lot of LRMs. Okay, UAV up. Let's see. Um, I really want to... I think now we are ready to do it, right? Yeah, we are. This guy is XL. Hmm. This guy is a light engine. And I am not overridden. I mean, at least he cannot get a target on me, right? Ah, cool shot, cool shot, cool shot. And now the Nudge here. It's the more dangerous target compared to the awesome. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We take a bit of damage here. Nothing too crazy. Why is somebody shooting me? Where? Okay. Pushing forward. Pushing out of this misery. And I had no idea where the Ducker came. Ah, this is... This is the guy. Okay. Uh, there's one sniper on top. Right side. Huh? Good damage to the crab. I'm gonna stay here for a while until we can push the guy down. And we try to destroy the crab. 
Nice one. Light mech here. Okay. Um, is the Ducker guy down? Mm, yeah, kind of. We help out here real quick. Micro lasers. Medium lasers. I don't care about him. I want this guy. But it was a night here. Yeah, he could just jump on top again. No problem. Bam. Oh my god. The amount of damage is just so damn high. So good. I mean, now I'm basically down in the trench and I cannot do anything unless this Nightjir decides... Oh no, it's a Vapor Eagle and the Nightjir. Unless he decides to get up here. Can I? Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Kill him! Let's go, guys. It's one of the last enemies here. This <laughs> is like the one. It's so great for that. <laughs> I love this. Meep, meep. I love this build, guys. It's, it's so crazy. You have the medium laser early advantage or early capabilities. And if you go close with the ER micros, you just have so much DPS. So much close range DPS. And the cooling is also pretty nice as well. Now we got three killing blows. We had eight assists, one kill, most damage dealt, 718 damage with five components destroyed. It is a challenge mag, guys. After all, it's only a gargoyle, but I'm having fun with the build. If you had fun with the daily dose, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. If you want to support me doing what I'm doing here, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.